Hello guys and welcome back to Really Robin. <laughs> okay, I have no idea why I just sang that. <laughs> okay, apparently it's late and I am getting delirious. I'm on like video number four of the night. And of course I'm not putting them all out at one time, but you guys are going to see this face, these clothes. <laughs> these earrings repetitively because I have so many boxes and tonight is like my best opportunity to try to get them all recorded. So that's what I'm working on. But guess what? We've got another unboxing. we got another unboxing. Yeah, unboxing. <laughs> and today what we're doing is the Birch Box. Birch box. Okay, so normally I take all of the outside wrappings off prior to you guys even seeing, like, or for I start the video so that y'all don't have to see me trying to rip into the product and everything like that. And we can kind of get straight to the unboxing. But I was so excited <laughs> because I looked at this, and if you look there, it says the talented Robin. How they know I got skills? How do, how they know I'm talented? Y'all. You better stop birch box. You act like you know me. You don't know me. <laughs> anyway, so um, I just had to show you guys that part. Now I'm gonna actually go ahead and get into this box. This weekend is Mother's Day weekend and I am on call. So I don't think I'll be getting any real Mother's Day celebration situation going on, but it's okay because my husband and my children make me feel like every day is Mother's Day. They are so kind, so loving, and so nurturing. Like literally all three of them are just wonderful wonderful human beings that I love so very dearly <laughs> so this is the May 2018 birch box uh, am I a fan of this particular look for this box nah it's not really all that appealing to me um, so it won't be one that I'll be like, oh, I'm going to keep that because I really like it. No, that's not this case. I'll probably be tossing this one directly in the trash can. Taking the lid off, we come straight to these. And it says soak in the sunshine. And it says embrace the warmer weather safely with this these sun protection pointer. So obviously this... Um, Box will have to do with uh, SPF and skincare and whatnot, I would imagine. Maybe a little glow something, I don't know. Um, get, it says, um, number one, get your yearly checkup. As you spend more time in the sun this month, make your annual appointment with your dermatologist. Two, do regular self-exams. Meanwhile, look for any changes in existing freckles, spots, and moles. Don't forget your scalp, feet, and back. Number three, SPF 30 blocks 97% of the sun's UVB rays, which causes skin to burn. The higher the S SPF, the higher the level of protection. And lastly, apply, uh, number four, apply sunscreen generously. Use an ounce, about a shot glass of sunscreen to cover your body. Reapply every two hours or after swimming or sweating. Are they serious? Child... Bye. Every two hours you're supposed to reapply sunscreen? That ain't gonna happen. I'm not gonna look at the back yet because that'll tell me what the products are and I don't want to know what the products are until you guys know. So let's just reach in here and pick one up. So this is from the company Lock. It is a one and done shadow stick in the shade Heavy Petal. And in case you're wondering the name, it's Lock. And that is a pretty shade. Let's just swatch. It goes on very smooth, very creamy, and it's nicely pigmented, and it's got just a hint of shimmer to it. So I like that. Uh, that is a perfect, literal, like they said, one and done. I usually, even though it's, I can do just putting it on my um, lid. I generally will still put in a transition color just to kind of um, make it a smooth transition, I guess. Um, I don't know, it's just, I think it's just the thing that I feel like I need to do. <laughs> but anywho, um, this is from Love of Color is what LOCK stands for, Love of Color. And this is a one and done shadow stick in heavy petal. The full size is $10. 
This waterproof shadow, ooh, it's waterproof. Nice, we're going to the pool. This waterproof shadow stick in a versatile light rose gold shade delivers up to 11 hours of creaseless color. No br blushes, blenders, or primers needed. That's pretty awesome. I mean, that would be a great vacation shadow. Um, since it is waterproof, it has long wearability. It's small in size, so this would actually be very perfect for sticking inside your um, travel bag. Great, great, great. The next product I have is from Comfort Zone. It is Remedy Cream to Oil. It is a ultra gentle cleanser. So let's see, Comfort Zone Remedy Cream to Oil Cleanser. Um, it says, this is neat, a cleanser that transforms as you use it. First, the cream gently removes impurities. Then as you massage it in, it becomes an oil to leave skin soft and refreshed. And the full size of this product would be $35. And it doesn't say what size the full size would be, but I can almost guarantee you this is not it. <laughs> um, I do believe, and I could be incorrect because I have not looked up any of this um, or Googled it, obviously, because I didn't know what we were getting. But I would say that this is probably a full size um Love of color shadow, um, and I will find all of these products and um, link where you can purchase them from. It may not be the cheapest place you can purchase it from, but at least it'll give you a reference if you're interested in these products. All right, the next thing I have is from Kyle's, it's a super multi corrective cream with beech tree extract. Jasmonic and hyaluronic acids visibly lifts, firms, and retexturizes your skin. And you get a decent amount. It's fairly full. There is no seal on it in case you're a trader or anything or um, swapper. And I'm going to just take a little bit and see what it feels like. It's a... Uh, I'm not going to say thickly textured, but when you put your finger in it, it doesn't like sink in. So it does have some consistency to it. I just got a little tiny bit there. And rubbing it in. It goes in smooth. It absorbs quickly. It's lightly fragrant, but I wouldn't call it... It's not unscented, but it's not like a perfumey... Um, fragrance so it's not going to be something that's overindulgent like so it's good and it just it goes on nice and smooth the next product we have is from oh lord i can't even pronounce this uh jour de automone smoothing balm i have no idea but i'm gonna show y'all this is what it says Okay, and it is a, it's a hair balm, apparently. Oh, sorry, let's go back. That Kyle's um, is full size, would retail for $35. Again, it does not tell you what full size is. This is not it. This is a deluxe sample, or it's just a sample. Um, so if you want the full size of the Kyle, it would be $35. Bucks. Um, back to this number four um, that's what we're going to call it because it's a number four right here so back to this number four uh hair balm uh or hair smoothing balm it uh let's see what does it say about it prep damp strands with this styling cream which contains tiny molecules that penetrate each strand to minimize frizz give touchable texture and protect against heat damage a full size would go for thirty dollars i hope when some of my friends really enjoy this product because guess what it won't be going in my hair. <laughs> but um, that's not a half bad product. And lastly, we have from Tokyo Milk. Everything and Nothing Perfume. A full size of this would cost you $42. Spritz this light, bright blend of sweet orange, pressed petals, desert moss, and tea leaves onto your pulse points for an utterly enchanting scent. Now, it's sounds like everything that I would love in a scent. I'm just going to kind of spray it on this card.
Mm-hmm. It's nicely floral, but woodsy. It's very woodsy. It, I don't smell any citrus. I smell a lot of floral, a lot of woods, kind of greens kind of thing. It's nice. It's, I think it's one of those things where if you're not 100% particular to feminine scents, this would probably be a very good one because it's not, it's like, I would call it more neutral. It would be almost a soft male scent, but it has feminine qualities. So I would probably, um, I would wear it. And then of course you have your, if you put it, once you put it on your body, your body's composition or your body scent will adjust it as well. So I'm, I'm curious to see how it will do once it's on actual skin, but it smells decent. So all in all for this box, um, I'm not going to give it rave reviews. Um, I will use just about all the products except for the hair product. So, um... It's, it's a pretty decent box. I have no complaints about this one. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the May 2018 Birch Box. Um, if you liked it, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Please make sure that you subscribe so that you can come back and be a part of this family, this Really Robin family. Um, and make sure that you share. Uh, you know, share it with your friends. Oh, hit the notifications button. That way you'll be notified the next time I th uh, put a video up, okay? All right, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye-bye, guys.